Hi guys, I'm Gamer. and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Project Cars 2 TX race wheel setup as requested by my subscriber Chris Best. So let's get straight into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into controls and I'm going to go through them quite quickly. But I suggest you just pause it on the screen you want, go through the uh, list one by one, tick them off and then unpause it and carry on because that's the easiest way to do it. So let's get straight into that. Go over to configuration and go through. So we've got steering... Okay, steering dead zone is zero, steering sensitivity is 65, um, how much you need to twist the wheel around to get whatever, uh, to get the effect, zero, 25, zero, 25, zero, 100, speed sensitivity, uh, I got it at 10, I didn't really feel that I needed to go any faster than that, um, damper saturation, uh, controller damping doesn't matter, controller vibration doesn't matter, minimum shift time, I don't really know what that means, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then RPM gear display, again, I don't really know what that means. So, we're going to go over to, a uh, yeah, yeah, hang on, we're going to go to edit assignments. Assignments. Alright, uh, here we go, right, so, you don't really need to worry about these, they should already be populate if you've got the correct setup. Um, so don't worry about these too much. What you want to worry about is camera view. So camera view, you want to make sure that you can look left and look right. So what I've done is I've gone D-pad look left, D-pad look right. And that means that when I'm in a corner or going up to a corner and I'm not sure where the guy is, because I drive cockpit view, I can look over to the side. Really difficult to take corners without contact if you haven't got that. And if you want to get your driver rating up, so you can actually compete at a decent level, then you're going to be wanting to make sure you look left and look right before you go into a corner. Not look left and look right, but whichever corner you're going into, look in the appropriate place. Um, and then lastly, let's go over into force feedback settings. So I've got it on raw because it gives me the most information. Uh, I've got it on the heaviest of gain. I've also got it quite high on the volume, but lower on the tone and again quite high on the effect. Now the reason for this is because it's still not 100% set up guys. It's still not 100% now. I'm not 100% happy with this. But it's drivable and enjoyable. Um, so I've been doing the Clio Cup as you've been watching and I am now almost able to control the car when it gets into a bit of a, a sideways motion. Even, even the Clios which are massively skittish on lift off oversteer. So that's the settings. Um, I hope that's helped you out, Chris. If you want it for PC, let us know. These are currently for Xbox, but I have just bought the PC version so I can use it with my new toy, the Oculus Rift. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. There will be some of that on the channel very shortly. I've been Muddy Gamer. This has uh, been the TX Race Wheel setup for Project Cars 2. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. A like and a comment would be much appreciated. And if you hit that notification icon, I'll know that you'll know, or I'll know because I'm uploading them, but especially you will know that there will be a upload or a uh, live stream about to happen on my channel. Again, I'll be Muddy Gamer, and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.